second age of reason. Ooh, it's kind of cold. I think when I get my jacket on. Send the jacket, please. That's more like it. So, we are here to discuss one of the issues of the presidential campaign. Here, we'll just talk normally there. One of these issues is that they've been asking one of the candidates to please publish the transcripts of her talks to the Wall Street firms to see what was she talking about. But she really hasn't, and she just laughs it off and goes about her way. Other people have offered to give their transcripts. Technically, there aren't any, so it's a little bit of a asymmetrical approach there. But I thought, what logical reason could they have for not wanting these transcripts to come out? One might be because they're a Democrat, and when they go into these secret meetings and they give us talk, they'll say stuff like, what a great world it is to be in to have all this millions and billions and trillions of dollars and we're here as the government to be at your service. Something to that effect. Who knows? It might come out that maybe she's a Republican all along and the Democrats have just been fooled. But I think the most logical reason that she's not publishing her transcripts is probably a more mundane thing. It's called content. Um, she gets paid a lot of money for those uh, discussions, those talks that she gives. And if she were to give this transcript out, suddenly it's like she's giving it away for free. Something that they would normally pay $100,000 for, $300,000 for, suddenly it's freely published and everybody can read it. Well, suddenly then, the value of her speeches becomes a lot less. So I can see where she would want to protect that as her cash cow. That is her means of earning a living and making money on the side when she's not in office. I think that's kind of the rule. And so I can see where someone would want to protect their content because in order to keep it valuable, you can't just publish it for free. And so that's what I think the main cause is. That's why she's not publishing the transcripts. Not that there's so much there to hide. I don't know any, what anybody would do with that information anyway. Other than it would probably reveal where she really stands on some things that maybe she doesn't want us to know. First Amendment, is it? Or is it Fifth Amendment? Or is it just that she wants to protect the cash cow? What she has for, if she's not in the government, her value is as a speaker. And her content has a value in and of itself. So I'll give her the benefit of that doubt. So that's just kind of where I'll leave that for now. Uh, and be sure to pay attention. If they are published, read them. Make your own value judgments. And so, until later, we'll be seeing you.